on and welcome to the channel it's me your boy Jalal Wilson and today I got an episode for you we got to talk about insecurities I've been dealing with some insecurities in my life and I was, th I was thinking about it today and I was thinking like how many of us let our insecurities stop us from doing what we're supposed to do well for a long time I sure was so I wanted to talk about insecurities some tips that I found helpful to help me move past them and I hope they will be of used to you to help you move past, you know, what you perceive as your insecurity. All right, so let's get into it. One of the things for me, my insecurity was my hair and my height. So I had to do two, I had two things going on. And I would say my teeth, but kind of got that one dealt with. So right now, especially when it comes to being on camera and this whole YouTube thing, my hair. Like, my hairline is definitely receding. In my last video, I accidentally cut the top of my head off, so all you could see was just forehead. And I'm like, man, my, like, it just, like, I wish my hair hairline had been you know, right up here, smooth, you know, cool looking, but no, forehead, that's all you see. So for me, that is a big insecurity and something that I pay attention to when I'm on camera. And if I'm being honest, it affects, you know, it was affecting how I showed up on camera because I'm like, dang, my forehead is big. Also, like I said, my other insecurity was my height. My height was my insecurity of mine for a long time. Until, you know, one day I came to the realization at like 35 that I'm not going to grow any taller. No, I'm playing. It was, it was a lot earlier than that. It was like 28. <laughs> I just came to the realization, you know what? It's time to hang it up, bro. You're not getting any taller. So I don't know what your insecurities are, but you know what your insecurities are. So I want you to think about this. When it comes to your insecurities, as I was just saying just a moment ago, I was worried about how it made me look on camera. And you have to notice what you're thinking about your insecurities. Like, what is the conversation that you're having in your head? Oh, like... People aren't going to watch my YouTube channel for me. Like, people aren't going to watch my YouTube channel because my forehead's so big. And, or I'm not going to look nice on thumbnails or whatever the case may be. Like, those are the type of stories that I was telling myself. You have to think about what are the type of stories that you are telling yourself around your height. I mean, around your insecurity, whatever that may be. It could be, you know, maybe you got a, a speech impediment. Or, you know, one of your eyes is green, the other one is blue. And when you look in the camera, you know, it just, it bothers you. You know, whatever. I don't know. I just made that one up. But I don't know what your insecurity might be. You know what it is. The point is you're supposed to know, not me. But anyway, so you have to determine, like, what are the stories you're telling yourself around that insecurity? Am I not good enough because of my insecurity? Um, I can't have this or have that because of my insecurity. I can't do this or whatever. What is the story? Because once you identify the story that you're that you're dealing with regarding your insecurity, you you can then start asking your question, asking yourself questions. And one of the to me, one of the best questions I ask myself is, do I really need to conquer this insecurity in order to get started on my YouTube journey? And the answer was, yeah, it would be nice, but in reality, no. No, I didn't have to conquer it first. And think about how many times we tell ourselves we have to, I got to get all of my ducks in a row. I got as soon as I start feeling better about this or as soon as this happens, or as soon as that happens, we tell ourselves, then I'm going to do that thing. But no, the truth is you're either going to do it or you're not. So there's something right now, your insecurity, that's holding you back from doing something. But the truth is, if you were going to feel better about it, you would have probably already felt better about it. So the fact that you didn't probably means you you won't unless you, you know, you kind of give yourself a catalyst. And for me, the catalyst was, I am going to start this YouTube channel. My forehead is going to be on there. So I have to get used to it. There's no other option. Because either 
Or I could have wore hats all the time. But, you know, I wasn't doing that either. I like my hair. I just, you know, it would have been nice to have a smooth little hairline. But anyway, I like my hair. So that was an option for me. The only option I had then was to do it anyway and just, you know, seeing my forehead on video is just going to have to grow on me instead of me growing on it. You know, it's, it's big enough. But anyway, so you have to... You have to really be honest with yourself. Is there a way, you know, is there any possible way that you could do, start doing whatever it is that you know you should do, regardless of this insecurity you may have? And when we do that, it helps, something else happens. We, uh, sorry, I wrote it down. Um, something else happens. We prove to ourselves that we can overcome challenges. That's what happens. We prove to ourselves that we can overcome challenges when we get started regardless of our insecurity. And as soon as I turned on this camera, that is me telling myself that yes, I have this insecurity, but I'm also proving to myself that I can get past a challenge and I can overcome something and I can do things in spite of, in spite of, how I feel in spite of what my forehead looks like. And that that helps you in all other areas of your life because you once you start showing up for yourself in spite of something that you consider an insecurity, what can you do in areas where you don't feel insecure if you tell yourself, if you use your insecurity and start showing up in that area? It's just like building, it's the, it's the confidence of, I mean, it's the, process of building confidence through action you know, taking action regardless of you know your insecurity and that's going to build your confidence and then with that confidence you're going to transfer it into other areas and then you know it's, it's like a domino it just keeps um keeps going and you know the domino completes the circle you're just knocking down obstacles as you go because you've already proven to yourself that you have the ability to overcome things now we have to also understand that you don't have to, you may never get over your insecurity. Like you just may never get over it. It may be something that you accept, but you don't necessarily get over. So even though you started moving, you know, you're overcoming challenges by doing it, be okay with the fact that it just may not be something that you get over or that you may fix. But the beautiful part is you kept going anyway. And having an insecurity and then doing something about it, it also shows you how to deal with problems because life is gonna present you problems constantly. You're, you're, if you're not in a problem right now, you're on your way to one. And so once you understand that that's just a part of life and there are problems to be solved, not to be feared, then you can go at it with and just be thankful that you have something, it's almost like a puzzle. You have a puzzle to solve and you are capable of solving it. So I just want you to think about that when it comes to these insecurities. And like I said, you know, my, my forehead, you know, it's, it's a major one, you know, for me, major key, but here I am. So if I can do it with this forehead, I know you can do whatever you need to do with whatever insecurity you have. All right. And I think that's so important, especially for people who, you know, feel like, hey, you know, you kind of like to whatever it is you're trying to do with your life. And you, you feel like your your insecurities are are the reason why you can't go, why you can't do it, why you can't become. But I'm here to tell you. Just in, in your insecurity is an opportunity for you to grow. And it's up to you if you will take that opportunity. All right. So if you found this helpful and you are going to take on your insecurity. Let me know in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe. It costs you nothing to do both, but help the channel immensely. And also remember to keep blooming and it's never too late to start today.
All right, I'm Jalal Wilson. I'll see you next time.